Why does Gordon Ramsay never age? I bet when he was a child, he came out being like, Oh, mom, this is f***ing bollocks. It's f***ing raw. And then he just flips over his chicken nuggets and they're frozen in the middle. You know what I mean? Hi, YouTube. We have Uncle Roger today. We're gonna, we haven't done one of these in a hot minute. And Uncle Roger really cranks my hog. So yeah, enjoy the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and send me more videos that you want me to react to because I've been falling off in terms of keeping up on videos. So we need to get back to it. Okay, enjoy everyone. This video is a Gordon Ramsay calls out Uncle Roger. So let's see what this is all about. He's gonna send Uncle Roger into overdrive. What? Trust me. I know I'm using a frying pan and he loves the wok, but trust me, I've been to Indonesia more times than he has. Let me tell you. <gasps> the sauce. <laughs> I thought that's the perfect time. That's my reaction to those tensums. <laughs> Well, look at his face. He looks like he just got slapped. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I'm still, like, not over, like, fully being sick. So this is really gonna be... I need to watch my lungs. Let me do my inhaler. Hold on. I literally have to prep for the laugh. Like, that's how bad it's gonna be. <laughs> that's how bad my wheeze is broken. Yes. Some of my favorite dishes come from food stalls around Asia. And today, I'm transporting you back to that beautiful country, Indonesia. So, why does Gordon Ramsay never age? Like, I see a little bit of silver there. He never ages. He looks the same. I bet when he was a child, he came out being like, Oh, mom, this is f***ing bollocks. It's f***ing raw. And then he just flips over his chicken nuggets and they're frozen in the middle. You know what I mean? Are you ready for a delicious Asian noodle dish in just 10 minutes? He looks perpetually 36 years old. Perpetually 36. Ah, Indonesia. Oh, you're Scottish, my bad. The noodle. So caught and making me goreng at Indonesian. Stir fry noodle. Oscar, pan down, please. Right, uh, beautiful noodles. Yeah, noodle noodles. Um, what? what? What he say? Beautiful noodles, yeah. Oh, noodle, Japanese, hi. Yeah. yeah. Me goreng, just use egg noodle. Or even better, noodles, you can yeah. stir fry into me instant noodle. That's super authentic oh, way to make so me goreng. Good. And me goreng is very <clears> flexible <throat> dish. Anything can go in there anyway. Remember niece and nephew, Gordon nailed his egg fried rice. He can call Uncle Gordon, but then he f***ed up ramen. So Uncle Roger, take that title away from we haven't seen that video. I'm gonna have to see it. Let's see if he can win it back. Bacon. This is sort of streaky, lean bacon. Bacon. Bacon a bit weird. Let's see what he do with bacon. Want the flavour yeah, from weird. it. Okay. So I'm gonna cut nice, large noodles. The street food phenomenon in Indonesia is incredible. You can actually eat sometimes better on the street than you can in a restaurant. It's that good. Correct. Indonesia street food, very good. But in not just Indonesia. If you go to Jamie Oliver restaurant and you eat the food there, you will realize even random sh from street tastes better than street food. <laughs> I would rather eat out of trash can than eat Jamie Oliver's bullshit. That's accurate. <laughs> Oh God! Emotional <laughs> damage. Bacon goes yes, in. Sir. Okay. And the secret here is to get a bit of texture. I think he's trying to use bacon <laughs> as replacement for pork lard. Maybe pork lard hard to find in West. So Gordon used bacon to cheat it. But Gordon, most people in Indonesia Muslim, they cannot eat bacon. Hiya. Hiya. Maybe Gordon bacon halal. Niece and nephew, <laughs> anything can be halal if you put your mind to it. Even smoky barbecue pork. Is it halal? Is smoky barbecue pork halal? <laughs> Yes! The sauce. Don't go too crazy on this. It's sauce, sauce. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I like it quite spicy. I like it quite yeah, sort of uh, acidic. In goes the minced garlic. Mm -hmm. Garlic, okay. Ginger. Ginger, mm -hmm. okay. That makes it a lot more fragrant. Some brown sugar. Brown sugar? I don't know about sugar. that. A little bit of tokarashi spice. Tokarashi. Nice what Japanese. is that? Again, hi, yeah. I don't even know what tokarashi is. Okay, this is what I got on Google. Togarashi. Spicy powdered, dried chili peppers, other seasonings. 
Ingredients include red chili pepper, orange peel, sesame seeds. Okay, so it's just a seasoning. That probably would be good on like katsu curry or something. I don't know. Two parts soy. Soy sauce good. I like how Gordon Paul using feeling also. Fuyo. Fuyo. That's how you know he's a good chef. He just throw also using soy sauce and brown sugar correct because Indonesian fried noodle. Most important ingredient in there is sweet soy sauce, ketchup manis. Gordon know how to oh, get ketchup manis in Western I've heard country. Of that. So he make his own. Not bad. So sometimes, so fun fact about me, why I don't know a lot of stuff about seasoning, I do love going to Asian markets and looking at seasonings and sauces and stuff, and that's my jam. I fucking love it. And we're not talking about Jamie Oliver's chili jam. I'm not talking about that jam. I mean, jam is in like good. Remember for Asian cooking, don't use white sugar. White sugar for uncultured people. Yes, sir. Soy. Okay. So literally, three tablespoons of soy sauce. Three tablespoon, three tablespoon, and then he pour half the bottle. Hi. <laughs> One nice tablespoon. I don't know. I like extra sauce. salt, so that don't bother really me. Good mix, okay. Uncle Roger prefer if you use shrimp paste, but Uncle Roger no. Oh, shrimp I paste love is shrimp white paste. people kryptonite. It killed them all. They can't handle mean? the smell. Only Asian people can handle shrimp paste. It's an Asian privilege. If you have white people friend come visit you and they don't. Wait. It's not white pe- I- I put shrimp paste in my- my ramen. Like whenever I cook, like if I'm gonna make like a beef ramen or whatever, I put a little bit in it. And I- I always use like fish sauce too. I don't know, I like fish. Don't leave just microwave shrimp paste. They f*** off instantly. Two parts soy, <laughs> one nice tablespoon of oyster sauce. A nice teaspoon of ground coriander. Gordon use feeling for all the ingredients so far. But then why you have kitchen skill at the back there, Gordon? Why? For baking, for making been bread, to probably. Cut the white powder. <laughs> now, the flavors in there oh are like this sauce made up literally to Gordon, why use whisk? Whisk is the worst kitchen you This is a chopstick. So needs a nephew. You ever put whisk in your kitchen drawer? And then what happened? Kitchen drawer cannot open. Hiya. Whisk will f up your yeah, drawer. You like Don't use things. proper Asian way. You want to mix things? Just use chopstick to mix. Use uh, chopstick. That, yeah, that's it. Down, that's it. Look, that's it. That's fat now. It's coming out of the bacon. Okay. If the cameraman in video, you f up. Look at the <laughs> back there. The only cookbook Gordon have is his own. <laughs> I think Gordon in love with himself. Check the flavor. Mm. Wow. That's delicious. It's sharp. I'm going to just increase that sort of soy. More soy richness, sauce. darkness in there. And let nice feeling again. Always taste while you cook. I thought I put a bunch That's in it. Really. Nice I mean, thick, I like salty, watery, but... but... Every mouthful is packed with that wonderful Asian flavor. Wonderful Asian flavor. That sound a bit dirty. Uncle Roger, like, I'm gonna use that phrase with all the new aunties. <laughs> Sorry, children. <laughs> Hello, auntie, what you doing? Would you like a mouthful of wonderful Asian flavor? But seriously, <laughs> wonderful Asian flavor sound very vague because Asia, big place. You say Asian flavor, nobody has an idea of what it actually tastes like. That like saying, you should try this sauce, it tastes very black. Or you should try this food, it tastes very white. Actually, that one kind of works. Yeah, it would work. It's really nice and crisp. Like, so. like, I would think you could say if you had just pancake syrup and you put it on a spoon and you eat it and you were like, yeah, this this tastes white. <laughs> this is Always sugar on flat and corn into the syrup. <laughs> Yo, that impressive. Um, nice. Ooh. Cracking egg with one hand. It's like I taking bra that. off with one hand. Important skill to master in life. Now, um, please, Oscar, back onto the heat. But look, take the tip of the whisk. But look at <gasps> what? Whoa, why are you using go that in a castle? See, he's using that in a non-stick like pan. Like you need to, you should use chopstick. Like you can't use whisk in a non-stick pan anyway. And it's easier just to use a chopstick. You know how hard it is to clean a whisk? This look like stuff British people eat when they yeah, hang this. over. Where the meat going? Where? And just break that up. Break no! that up. You probably thinking Uncle Roger gonna say hi ya don't use metal utensil in non-stick pan. But actually Gordon have special pan it non-stick but you can use metal in there free yo. Free yo. Who is actually you I need to find that pan. 
Cause I love using forks if I can't use a chopstick. I like using a fork to like flip over my bacon because I got long forks. So sometimes when I use a chopstick, I still burn myself. Cotton recently. They're expensive. Oh God. It a dream come true. Gordon give me his special pen, so thank you very much, Gordon. See, this the one. Oh my Gordon God! So that's why he's. See, I just put Whoa. it here, easy access. So when people ask Uncle Roger, where my walk, where my walk, I go it right there. The inside <laughs> not stick, but you can use metal spoon in there. See. Using metal in non-stick pen, like saying nice thing about Auntie Helen. It still feels so wrong. From yeah. There, take your yeah. Wheels, I would probably still not use. use <laughs> if they're expensive the pens, I probably won't. Seven hundred dollars for a thirteen-piece set. Oh my god. I hope if I'm paying seven hundred dollars for a thirteen-piece set cookware, that better cook for you. Incredible. Press them down into the eggs and the bacon. Don't use your hand, you're gonna burn yourself. Yeah, with the and bacon grease. Togarashi spice. Togarashi again? Is this Gordon's version of MSG or something? Hiya. Hiya. Why use it so many times, Gordon? It okay to use regular chili powder. No need so fancy. Okay, and start caramelizing that really nicely. Now, the Asian greens, okay? Asian greens? Is that what Uncle Roger called my money? <laughs> Just <laughs> nice slice it. The leaves are really tasty. You can hear those noodles sort tasty. of... Tasty. No. Away. All vegetable tastes like set. Over. Yep. That's what Uncle Roger well. thinks. I don't agree with that, this but I know he don't like the greens. Uncle Roger into overdrive. What? Ah! You know it's gonna make me angry and you still do? <laughs> now, it's like I know he's a fire pan and he loves <laughs> the walk, but... Trust me, I've been to Indonesia more times than he has. Let me tell you. <gasps> the sauce. Did Gordon just call out Uncle Roger? Trust me, I've been to Indonesia more times than he has, let me tell you. Go Indonesia so many times for what? You still use wrong noodle, hi. You still yeah. use in Not Japanese spices like in, in Indonesian here, dishes. Fly there. When Uncle Roger get money, I'm gonna go to Indonesia also. Large spring onions and just go at an angle. Those are okay. the biggest Good. spring onions I've ever seen in my life. They're so thick. Them up and they go in. Wait, why are you leave so much away? Beautiful, some coriander, some bean sprouts. Plant those sprouts I don't like over bean there. sprouts. I'm not big rank, same like egg fried rice. Everything must be prepared and then go in at once. That good. Here's the go. Whack up the heat. Touch of salt. I bet those noodles are going to be so nice and crispy. Okay. i give that a really good toss. Okay. Ooh. See, that why you need to use wok. There's too much yeah. shit in the frying pan. There's not enough it's space the for the food to move and cook. You got, just pan down, please, Oscar. Just check this out. For that crispiness in the bacon. See everything stacking on top of each other. Hiya, Hiya. Gordon. You used to be wok boy. You got so many wok. What happened to you now? Now you're just cooking with one frying pan. You got to promote wok. Don't shit. Don't block yourself. And all of a sudden, it's starting to form. It's beautiful. This overcrowded. See his pan? Overcrowded. Tasty. Yeah, you're gonna have. I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna have some bits that are really, really burnt and crispy. Some that are gonna be okay, and then a lot that's not gonna be cooked well enough. Now, before that comes and you're out, not gonna get a, is a good more fry. more overcrowded than Japanese train high. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Roger, watch carefully. From there. Okay, I'm watching. Sauce, fresh ginger, fresh garlic, soy. Mm. Now, one more toss. Watch, watch, watch. You're just putting sauce on noodle. Wow, so excitement, so adrenaline. <laughs> I was like, what? I don't know if my heart can handle this level of excitement. Sauce on noodle. Too much sauce, you're gonna drown it. Just yeah. coat those noodles so they're lightly glazed, but you don't want it soggy. Nothing worse than a soggy noodle, let me tell well. you. Hi, yeah. How Gordon know the reason my ex-wife left? All my nephew out there, you ever have your noodle get so soggy and you look at your noodle and you go, hi, yeah, why is so weak? So weak, weak. Now, turn that yeah, on. Color. And now, see the colour. Please, Oscar, pan down. Pan down, Uncle Roger. 
I mean, I you know what else? Beautiful. It's gonna also sting because of all the veg that he has in there. That's why you do need a wok to have it separate. So the water can evaporate and it'll be more crispy. Open my eye. Just because I Asian and my eye is small, don't make it close, okay? Chili, ginger, off. And when we come to serve, generously done. The smell is incredible. Let's be honest. There's nothing there for two or three of you. And there we go. Amazing. Not Indonesian bad. street food phenomenon. Fuyo, it look good, Gordon. Look good and done in 10 minutes. So fast. Most impressive thing is that he make his own kicap manis. Uncle Roger, maybe I add some shrimp paste, some sesame oil, and of course some MSG. Oh, but cannot give you Uncle Taito back because you use udon noodle. Hiya. And you didn't use a wok. It's much better than Gordon Ramen Weijo. I give him that. But Gordon, you have to watch used that to be wok boy. What happened to your wok? Did you send Uncle Roger your last wok? Because <laughs> I can send it back to you, no worry. Just let me know. Please go back to being wok f boy. Frying pan f boy don't sound as good. If you have whisk at home, throw it out. Give it to your enemy. F up that drawer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. And chat, thank you so much for watching. While well, I record, I appreciate you. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and put more Uncle Roger videos that you want me to react to. Okay, bye!